who here wants to know how to create more time? Perfect. It ain't gonna happen. You can't create time. Okay, you can create money, but you can't create time. And I hang out with some millionaires sometimes, and hang out, I've just been hanging out with a billionaire who's doing an amazing pro charity project. And two of the things which I learned from these people, I've humbled myself when I hang out with these people, they want to know the secrets of their successes. And two, two of the things that they, they value the most, they value themselves, and they value their time. So time is absolutely essential. You can get money back again. You can create money, but nobody is ever going to give you your time back on this planet. So let's look at time management. First thing I'm going to talk about is something called Parkinson's Law. Cyril Parkinson was an economist who in 1955 realized that the government was becoming more and more inefficient the bigger that government was becoming. The government was becoming more and more inefficient because it was doing low priority things and it wasn't, it was, it's a bit like going to a five star hotel and that five star hotel has kind of gone so, so good, so successful that they've forgotten the basics and you ask for a glass of water or something and it takes about 10-15 minutes for that thing to happen. So, Parkinson's law states that unless you're doing the ABCs of life, unless you're doing the ABCs of life, these things up here, don't be surprised that you end up doing the XYZs of life. Don't be surprised that you're doing the XYZs of life. In other words, unless you're, another way of saying it would be unless you're planting the flowers in your mind, or the things that you want to do and create, don't be surprised that the weeds grow up. You know, any gardeners in here? Me? No? Anyone? You know when you don't plant a flower in, the, in, in your garden, the weeds spontaneously erupt and you have to pull out the weeds and then you have to start again 